All right, well, a good Saturday to you. Thanks for finding us here on YouTube. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. Of course, this is the Fox 26 tropical update, and we're here every day of hurricane season, including the weekends, keeping you informed on what's happening across the Atlantic waters, uh, as well as, you know, we check in on the Pacific occasionally as well. But today I'm just going to be talking about the Atlantic. And as I mentioned, thanks for finding us here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, of course, there's always some encouragement to do so getting the latest uh, information right away as far as uh, whenever we have that coming out. And of course, Fox 26 YouTube's more than just weather, more than just tropical, but that's kind of where I think it's the best content as far as that goes. Let's start by just looking at the Gulf of Mexico. Things overall are fairly quiet across the Atlantic, but I want to just focus in on the Gulf of Mexico because this is our concern. Not that we see anything happening right now, but we know as we move into August, it is expectations that we ramp up the activity overall. And when you have waters that are this warm sitting out into the Gulf of Mexico, you just know that anything tropical in nature that forms will flare up and intensify quite quickly. So that's why we're a little bit uh, hesitant or uh, to, to, to be uh, excited about how quiet it's been so far, because it's not really that far off a track. It's just that we just haven't seen a whole lot of land activity uh, thus far this year. And again, these are some very very warm waters in the Atlantic, uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. Also take a note though, that in the Gulf of Mexico, as well as most of the Caribbean, our Saharan dust, there's not much of it. So those, that factor as far as helping to stifle activity is not the case uh, in the Atlantic. So there's some, or in the Gulf. So there's another factor that would, we would think would encourage more of that uh, formation to take place if something were to try to get organized. Right now, there's just not anything going on right now. It's very, very quiet. Again, not complaining. This is what we have seen some this year and what we're seeing now with the Saharan dust is that it is blanketing large sections of the Atlantic. And especially once we get over here and to sort of the western edges of the Atlantic, this is kind of where we might expect to see some formation here at the end of July, the beginning of August. But as we get more into August, we start looking a little further back for that possible formation of tropical systems. But this Sahara dust it just makes it difficult. It is not, you know, where it wouldn't happen at all. Um, but again, it's just one of those factors that works against the formation of tropical cyclones and certainly against the intensification of them. So even if it were to form, this is something that would make it even more difficult to intensify up to a large and powerful storm. Those are all things that we like. And again, that Saharan dust is certainly out there overall. So the official message from the National Hurricane Center as of Saturday afternoon, no tropical cyclone formation is expected over the next seven days. So it looks like we're jumping into a fairly quiet stretch here uh, at the beginning of August uh, and as we again, we're kind of working our way into that very active time of the year. Now we did get an update this past week from Colorado State University. Dr. Klotzbach and, and his group there, well known in the in the outlooks for the entire season. They give a couple updates during the season and they've ramped their numbers up just a little bit, increased them slightly. Uh, I think it was, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think they were at 15 uh, with their last update. I think they were at seven in the hurricanes on their last up then they were at three for major hurricanes. So bumping up a couple more, but definitely uh, several more as far as the named storms are concerned. So they're obviously thinking that there is going to be a bit of activities kind of flaring here as we move into August and September. Overall, uh, NOAA's forecast, their last uh, update, they, they came out with the 12 to 17 named storms, five to nine of those hurricanes. So these numbers are fairly similar to each other. Um, and as I mentioned, Colorado State University, they issue one way back early, well before the season starts. I think it's April. And then they updated a couple times as we move through. But their August update 
came out this last week, and these are the numbers here from Colorado State University. So a reminder that normal seasons, if you look at a 30 year average, that's what we're going to call normal. That's what we're going to call an average, at least at this point in time, because that's what is consistent across the board as far as NOAA and the National Weather Service. They when they say an average or, or a normal, they look at a 30 year average is the way they figure that up. So same thing with uh, how we would figure that for a hurricane uh, season. 14 named storms, seven of those being hurricanes and three of those being major hurricanes. So now with these updates, we're, we're now putting the numbers at slightly above a normal season. Uh, and that's something that we'll just kind of have to see how it all kind of works out again. It seems like it's been a quiet year so far. The numbers are really not that far off from average. We just have kept everything for the most part, at least away from land. Glad you're following uh, here on YouTube. If you, this is my social media for uh, Twitter or X and Facebook and uh, Instagram. But if you want to find me on YouTube, just search meteorologist John Dawson. I got a lot of hurricane preparedness videos. I have my hurricane gear test segment and they're very organized and easy to access on YouTube. Again, if you're there on YouTube, it's meteorologist John Dawson. That's the best way to find me. It'd be great if you want to look some of those up and kind of use it as part of as part of your preparations and plans. Thanks for finding us here today. As always, we'll be back again tomorrow with another tropical update.